Hello everyone. I hope your preparation is going well. And today in this video we will discuss beyond your coursework, beyond your academics, but as important as your coursework. So this is a question which I was asked today on Facebook. And the question is something like this. That how do you define gate preparation in just a single word? So I thought about the answer and I also thought that I will share my views on this with all of you. So my answer was consistency. Consistency is key for any exam preparation. Whatever you do, the consistency plays most important role. So whenever you do something and you do it in inconsistent manner, the ultimate outcome will come out to be almost zero or you can never get desired outcome by doing the things in inconsistent manner. So consistency plays a very crucial role. Now we have various kinds of consistency which is required in gate preparation. So let's discuss it one by one. The first one is consistency in time. What do I mean by saying consistency in time? Consistency in time means when you prepare for gate, you have to devote a consistent time every day. So it's it should not be something like you start by preparing 10 hours every day, then you go for 12 and then you drastically reduce to 1 hour, 2 hour. So that is not going to help. You have to have a consistent amount of time, a fixed amount of time every day. Okay, so I doesn't, it doesn't mean that it should be 4 hours, every day it should be 4 hours, something like this. You have to fix your timings and it can vary a little bit. Obviously, it will depend on your uh, university exams also. So, it can deviate a little bit, but it should, it should, what should be somehow fixed. You have to give a consistent time for this gate preparation. The next point is consistency in subjects. You have so many subjects to study for a single exam and all the subjects plays important role. Few subjects you can always ignore obviously, but you cannot ignore a group of subjects and you can expect a good rank. So I'll suggest not to ignore any subject. So you have to give consistent amount of time, consistent amount of effort for all subject. Okay. So this is consistency on subject. So let's say you prepare a subject and then you leave it and then you switch for next subject. Okay. And meanwhile, what will happen? The previous subject which you already prepared, you will be forgetting all of the things. So I will suggest to give a equal amount of time or a fixed uh, a adequate amount of time for each subject every day or it or adequate amount of time in a week so that you don't forget the things which you have already studied and I'll suggest to practice questions on these subjects or the subjects which you have already completed. For example, you have various online resources available, TechTed also provides you quizzes, so you can attempt quiz on TechTed. You can, other online resources are there, I'll not say to fix for a particular website. So or you might have already question papers given by your coaching institutes or somewhere you can get it. So the practice is important. So so that you don't forget the subjects which you have already completed. Consistency in practice. So as I was mentioning, practice is something which makes you perfect. But when you don't practice, perfection vanishes. Whenever you complete a subject, conceptually if you complete a subject, the practice is very important. I have seen many students which were very good while academics, even very good in the classroom. They were answering all the questions. But finally, when result come, they are not, uh, I mean, they, they didn't get very good rank as expected. This is because they only practice the things which, which has been taught in the class, which has been already asked, but they don't try to develop the problem solving approach. Practice is not just practicing your uh, notebooks and the and the questions uh, which you already know or the mugging up the answers like if the question is asked like this what should be the answer okay so you have to have the practice of solving new questions okay the qu basically what I want to say is you have to 
develop the problem solving approach so that you can solve new questions right and the last point is consistency in positive thoughts so this is little bit philosophical but most important because if you don't have positive thoughts it's it's going to be very hard you have to have always full with positive energy that yes i am going to do this okay i'll crack the gate so this thought should be there always in your mind okay this will give you a positive energy and this will keep you charged entire day entire day of your uh, work so always have a positive energy always think positive okay so the battle is not lost until the exam is over you have to fight until your last breath so i hope it will be helpful for you and uh, if it is helpful i expect positive positive comments from you guys so happy learning and happy preparation wish you all the best thank you